Hello friends, today we are going to discuss another behavioral pattern, the template method. This is one of the simplest design pattern to understand. If you have good knowledge of polymorphism together with abstract class and abstract method, you are good to go. If you want to refresh your knowledge on these concepts, then I strongly recommend you to watch my videos on this. You can find the links in description below under C Sharp Interview Questions section. With this, let's get started. First thing first, let's see the definition. The definition says, define the skeleton of an algorithm in an operation, deferring some steps to subclasses. Template method lets the subclasses redefine certain steps of an algorithm without changing the algorithm's structure. Here the skeleton of an algorithm is nothing but the template for executing certain functionality. Let's try to understand this pattern in detail. Say you have to develop a third-party component which will be used by many other developers for their own purpose. It means other developers will create their own classes and inherit your class and use your functionality. But say you want to give some flexibility to the user of your classes. That is, say you want them to redefine operation 2 and 3. So what can you do? Yes, you can make these operations as pure abstract methods. Of course, if you want to give your default implementation, then you can even mark these methods as virtual and provide some default implementations. With this, the classes that wants to use your functionality will override abstract methods and provide their own implementations. Great, so far so good. But, 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 we are talking about pattern here, right? But what I have explained just now, virtual override, this is not a pattern. These are just object-oriented programming, right? Okay, let's add a constraint now. Say, you as a component developer does not want the user of your class to modify the order of calling the operations because there are operations that you have written and which must be called in certain order. There we go. Now we are getting into template method pattern. Since you want to enforce the order of calling the method, you will implement the template method pattern and create a template method. And the user who wants to use your functionality must go via this template method. It means your algorithm structure is same, but some of its steps can be redefined by subclasses according to their context. So let's see how we can achieve this using template pattern. To achieve this, in your component, you will create a template method which specifies the order of calling each operations. For the operations that you want the user to provide their own implementations, you will mark them as abstract. Of course, as mentioned, you can create a virtual method as well. And yes, there will be methods for which you must have provided your implementations. So, Anyone who wants to use your functionality must call this template method and provide their own implementations for the abstract methods. Now, these abstract methods will be called by the parent template method. That's why the template method pattern is known for following Hollywood principle. That is, don't call us, we will call you. This pattern allows low-level components to hook themselves into a system, but high-level components determine when they are needed and in what order. In other words, the high-level components give the low-level components a don't call us, we will call you treatment. So, to summarize, in template method pattern, there is a template method which defines set of steps and implementations of steps can be deferred to subclasses. Thus, template method defines algorithm, but exact step implementations can be defined in subclasses. Now let's jump into Visual Studio 
and implement this pattern using C Sharp. Let me create a class library component. Let's name it as Report Printer. This component allows to print the report, but since component is developed by the company called Rygenix, it wants the report to be generated in certain format with the company logo and company information in footer. Something like this. Header logo and footer informations are already given and the report body header and the main body can be defined by the user of the component as per their need. Let's do that. So I have this abstract print class with a template method. It means if the user wants to use this component for printing their report, they must call this template method. I have also allowed the derived classes to redefine completely the report header and the report body. That's why these two methods are marked as abstract. Print logo and print footer methods are implemented as private here. So we are done with our third party component for printing report. Now let's go ahead and create two console applications as client. Let me name the first one as medical management system. Let me create one more client. Let's name it as school management system. Let me add report printer component as reference to both these clients. Let me go ahead and implement our client. So in medical management system, I have created a class called print medical report and inherited our third party component print class. Implemented both the abstract methods here and a public method which will call our base template method. Let's do the similar changes in our school management system. So I have done the similar changes, overridden two abstract methods and a method calling base template method. So we are done with our two clients implementation. Now let's print the report. Let me instantiate print medical report class and call print report. Let's put a breakpoint and debug this. So it goes to print report of print medical report class, which calls the base print template method. Print logo is implemented in this class itself. So it prints the logo. Then comes the print header method, which is an abstract method and implemented in the derived class. So it goes there prints the appropriate header, similarly prints the body. Finally prints footer, which is in the third party component itself. So we get our nice report. Important is client has followed the enforced design by our third party component developer. Note the header medical report and the header logo and the footer. Now let's go to school management client and call print report. Let's debug this as well. Similarly, it goes to our template method, prints logo, goes to our overridden abstract method, Prints footer and gets the report. See, the report header is different and the header logo and the footer are same. That's all for template method pattern. I hope this was a simple pattern and I was able to make you understand. 
If you like the video, then please do subscribe the channel for all the upcoming videos on C Sharp and other .NET technologies. Thanks.